Hello guys, this is Cesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! In today's episode of the Sandbox Mode Park in the Jurassic World Evolution 2, we will build a large herbivore enclosure for four new dinosaurs and some of them were very highly requested by you guys so I hope that you'll be happy with my choices with what dinosaurs I decided to add to this large enclosure that we will build today. But first of all, let me describe why I was away for such a long time and this was because I had severe issues with our park. Yes, unfortunately something went wrong uh, with this park with the sale file and the game was crashing all of the time. So I was able to build this enclosure, I wanted to add dinosaurs and then the entire game just stopped working. I couldn't do anything uh, because the game was constantly crashing uh, when I tried to do like anything like you know add a new dinosaur build something uh you know save the game and so on and i was kind of you know afraid that we will lose our park so this was the worst case scenario for me uh, so i actually reached out to frontier for help and I'm glad that I did because they were able to help me, they fixed my file. Huge, huge, huge shout out to the influencer team in Frontier, uh, especially to Kat, uh, who I like exchanged email with. She was so like helpful, she reassured me that they will do anything to fix that and they did. So thank you guys so much and thanks of course to the devs, to the dev team. Uh, that did everything to help me fix the issue. Uh, the like the thing that helped me was actually released with a new patch to the game, so it included a little bit of help for Caesar Creates. Uh, you all probably downloaded it and you received that as well. So thank you Frontier for your help, because without it we wouldn't be able to continue with this series. But we are able to do so, that's why we are adding a new enclosure to the park today, finally. Uh, and it is, as I said, the large enclosure for the herbivores, as you guys can see on your screens. So, the dinosaurs that we'll add today are, first of all, the highly, really highly requested dinosaur, the largest of them all, the Dreadnoughtus. It was so highly requested, so many of you guys like asked for a Dreadnoughtus that I had to add it to this park. And it is huge, so that's pro why probably it is so popular, because it is the largest sauropod in the game. And we didn't have many of them, we only had the Brachiosaurus in the park, so it made sense for me to finally add another sauropod. And this is no none other than the Dreadnoughtus. The second one is another very highly requested dinosaur, the Triceratops. I cannot believe that we haven't had Triceratops still in this park. I had to add it at some point. It is such an iconic dinosaur and it is probably my favorite dinosaur from my childhood. I remember having a lot of toys, the Triceratops toys. So yeah, this is so cool that finally we have it. Another two are the Edmontosaurus, some of you also suggested this dinosaur and I really really enjoy this one uh, because of the different you know, colorations on the hat. They are really interesting and we haven't built for any of the Hadrosaurus for a while so that's why I decided to add this guy to this enclosure as well. And the last one, the fourth one, is a small Gylemimus, that is another dinosaur that I wanted to add. When I built huge enclosures for many dinosaurs, for many different species of dinosaurs, I always like to add, you know, a dinosaurs of different sizes because it uh, makes the whole enclosure look more 
like dynamic there's more variation inside so that's why i wanted to add a small dinosaur and we still didn't have the gallimimus here so i decided that it would be a perfect choice and in the end i love how this enclosure is looking there's a lot of dinosaurs in here but they still are okay with the size of the enclosure it is huge uh, as you guys can see maybe not like enormous or something but still this is so much space for them that they are definitely happy with that some of you also suggested that I should add the Jurassic tour which I did here uh, we have a tour like a safari tour around this uh, enclosure which is so so cool uh, so the guests have the opportunity to go and see those dinosaurs from up close what I like to do with the tours and what I did here, what I showed you guys already, is to blend in the tracks of the tours a bit with using the dirt uh, because I don't like this like no sharp uh like shape of the track that is coming through the enclosure i think it looks a bit like unrealistic that's why i always like to uh, you know blend it in a bit with the dirt with the paint uh, painting terrain tool when it comes to the plants in this enclosure i knew that i wanted to have it very heavily planted because of the different kinds of herbivores and also we had sauropods the red notice in here that needs to have a lot of trees of course uh, that's why I like uh, mixed a lot of different trees but I also added some of the new like singular place trees uh, to help uh, blend all of those types together and also to help uh, to blend the foliage that is inside of this enclosure with the trees that are outside. Uh, we are building this enclosure on the edge of the map, so there are some there's some forest, uh, like the def default forest that is like uh, outside of the buildable area. That's why I wanted to, you know, uh, blend in this forest that we have outside with the foliage that will be in the enclosure. And of course I added a water section, like a water hole in the middle of the enclosure, so this is where all the dinosaurs gather to have a drink. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really like how it all has turned out and there are of course a lot, a lot of tropical rocks in this enclosure. After being done with the enclosure, I went on to uh, add some decorations around it, as always, uh, as I always do at the ends of the speed builds portion of the videos. I of course wanted to add the new decorations, the new planters, but still I kind of want to like mix them with the old ones because we use the old ones so much. Uh, in the other park, in the older park uh, part of the park, uh, so I don't want to like divide those two parts that we have, you know, only the old uh, decorations in the one part and then there are only the new ones. Uh, that's why I now try to blend them a bit together and I actually think it looks pretty cool. With that enclosure being finished we actually have more than half of this park uh, complete. Uh, I still have many plans for that park but I s now know more or less how many enclosures we'll be able to add there before it is totally finished uh, so don't worry some of your favorites will be still added here because I see those comments about the T-Rex about the Mosasaurus and things like that uh, they will be added for sure so uh, don't worry uh, but you know from the other dinosaurs I will have to choose a bit what I will add for sure we'll add a lot of carnivores because we don't have too many of them to be honest uh, so I definitely want to add some of them here uh, and uh, I already have plans for the new park actually so uh, don't worry if you won't see uh, the dinosaurs that you requested for those videos you will for sure see them in my future park that will be kind of cool I think so uh, yeah I think that there'll be like around 10 or maybe 12 and uh, episodes left of this park and then we will move on to the new one of course i will do a big tour uh, to show you guys around this park 
uh, and then we will move on to building a new one. I really enjoy this game, I really enjoy playing it, I really enjoy recording those videos, so I don't plan to stop on one park for sure. Uh, so if you guys want to see me build for the dinosaurs in the future, please consider to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss those videos. Uh, also, ringing the bell down the video really helps uh, because then YouTube notifies you when I add a new video and you don't miss them because I saw some comments that people don't see my videos. So if you want to do it, definitely it is recommended. Okay guys, this is all for now and I will see you in a second in a real time part of this video to show you guys around to do a little tour. We will go inside of the enclosure this time to show you everything that I've built. So yeah, stay tuned because the tour will be pretty, pretty exciting. Hello guys, welcome again, this time in a real-time part of this video and let me give you guys a tour of everything that we've built in today's episode. So, as you can see, there's a running and Montosaurus in here because we've built an enclosure for it and several different species. This is a large herbivore enclosure that we've built to uh, in this part of the park. I will show you guys uh, this from the bird's eye view in the uh, and after we do the tour like that <laughs> simply uh, so as we continue this way uh, there are a lot of planters that serve as what is that okay I need to fix it uh, there are a lot of plant planters that serve as a, sort of a fence for guests uh, as I always like to do the enclosure is up here uh, and we can actually go here to the first viewing gallery to see the view inside of the enclosure. I forgot how to do it. I have to, okay. Uh, yeah, so we don't see any dinosaurs from here, <laughs> but we see a lot of plants, a really nice uh, mixture. Uh, okay, so let me go and see what we can if we can see something from the high towers, the tower viewing galleries. Uh, after that, I think we'll go for a Jurassic tour because there is also this tour. And as you guys can see, I use the new fountains, which I love. I think that they are my favorites from all the new fountains. And this one I need to fix as well. <laughs> I should really go and see those things before I record this tour. Sorry, guys, but... It is what it is. I wanted to, you know, release this video as quick as I was able to. Okay, so let's go in here because from here you have this beautiful view inside of the enclosure. Here are dreadnoughts, uh, all chilling together. We have four of them. And uh, then down there, there are the Edmontosauruses. I think that there are six of them. We can see four right now. Uh, and a lot of Gallimimus running around. Uh, oh, there are actually five of the dreadnought of the uh, Edmontosauruses. I don't see any Triceratops. I don't know where those guys went, but we will find them for sure. But yeah, here is the water section, and here are our dreadnoughtuses. Dreadnoughtuses, probably. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Look at them. They are so close to the fence. They are huge. They are humongous. I mean, look at this. Okay. I use this concrete, like, it, meant to, it is meant to use it, I think, in a backstage, but I really like this as, a, like, this sort of fence for the guests to prevent them from coming too close to the enclosure. And, yeah, this is so cool that we have now, like, fences like this. Look at this guy. This is so cool. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, we can even see his hat. <laughs> but yeah, here are our Edmontosauruses. And let me continue that way and let's hop into the last of the viewing towers. 
I'm sorry if you hear my dog. She wants to play with me right now. Uh, to see if we can see actually the Triceratops. But, oh, there is one. Hello. It is sleeping, but they are all in here. Okay, they went for a little walk to the forest. <laughs> because there is a forest section for this habitat. But yeah, this is how it looks. So, let's jump out from the tour and let me show you guys the enclosure for the bird's eye view it is looking like that and i really love it because it blends so well together with the uh with the forest you can barely see that there's a fence in here so yeah this is so so amazing and yeah as i told you guys we have like the dreadnoughts in here really really cool dinosaur yeah some of them are here also there is uh, the Edmontosaurus this one is sleeping but let's have a look at this one with a yellow face really cool this one is actually amazing I love this pattern here and this color is so cute this one is similar, okay, and we have the Gallimimus as well. Those guys are so funny. Yeah, a lot of them actually here. I think there are like 18 of them or something like that. But yeah, they also have some different patterns, uh, but let's not go over all of them because it will be simply too long. And we have the Triceratops. There are five of them in this enclosure. This one is a little feisty guy charging at something. Okay, it just went to sleep. Uh, yeah, and they are here. This is such an iconic dinosaur. I love the Triceratops. It looks so like majestic, but also like a bit like dangerous. I don't know. Those horns are so large, and yeah, this guy is so beautiful. And I think that it works so well together. All those din dinosaurs really, uh, they fit well together. And I am glad that I came up with this idea to build this uh, enclosure because we only had one of those bigger ones, and it was in here for the Brachiosaurus and Parasaurolophus and the Struthiomyves. And now we basically have two. So, a bit of plans for the future right now, because I know you guys like to hear about this. Uh, I thought that this area would be actually bigger when I, build, when I would build this enclosure. It is not as big as I thought, so I will change my plans a bit. I think it will fit here, maybe here, one enclosure, and then do the plaza, because we don't have any like uh, shops or restaurants around here. We only have one here and then, you know, uh, all of those are pretty far. Uh, so why not add some sort of plaza in here? And then I will do like a really interesting section in here with three different enclosures, but I don't want to sp sp like, you know, spill uh, or reveal all my plans right now uh, for you to have something to anticipate. Uh, here we're gonna continue with the herbivores and continue with this river around here and finish it right here. I think it will do one of the biggest, bigger enclosures in here. Uh, so that will be cool. And also we will have uh, different enclosures in here. And of course, we have some more space in here with this hill, which is so actually like cool because you can build your enclosure up here. Uh, and yeah, I think that this will also be something really, really cool to have. Okay, so as I promised, we'll go inside and we'll do it uh, by uh, riding the Jurassic. Oh my God, it was such a fail. Rides under the dreadnoughts. 
Okay, so maybe let me uh, switch the vehicle because there's an option like that. If you didn't know, if you uh, click or push the button E, Q or E, you can switch between uh, the different vehicles. So, why I'm doing this tour uh, and show you guys around, uh, let me tell you guys the things that I normally do at the end of all of my uh, episodes because that would be basically the end of today's episode and we'll be ready to add more dinosaurs in the future to this park. Before I will say goodbye, actually, thank you guys so much for like your continuous support, for your love for this series. Uh, I know that there are some, you know, diehard fans of this series. Uh, you know, uh, we have uh, a lot of you guys. I have a lot of you guys commenting under all of my videos. So thank you for that. You are so, so, so amazing. We can actually hop in here. Here at the uh, park, it we'll is our see more of those dinosaurs damage and injury during a hurricane uh, strike. or maybe here because then you don't hear uh, the story and no one will interrupt me so yeah thank you guys this is so amazing that you support my channel so much I'm so sorry my dog just started to bark real bad and I had to stop the recording uh, so sorry for that but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider to subscribe to my channel. This would really mean a world to me and will help my little channel to grow. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, and of course, comment down below if you enjoyed today's video or if you have any more suggestions for the dinosaurs that we should add here uh, to this park. Uh, they are also welcome, so uh, keep coming with those. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.